Hey guys, it's GCO Technology, and today I'm going to show you how to create an auto replier with Outlook 2002 or 2003. And I will be using Outlook Express, but it may work for you in Outlook. Sorry guys, I kind of have a cold right now. Alright, so launch Outlook Express. Well, I'm launching Outlook Express. You can launch your Outlook. I don't know about 2007, guys. I'm just talking about 2002 and 2003. Go to Tools, Message Rules, and Mail. Click on New. And name it. So I'm going to call it Auto Reply. Okay. So here's what you want to do. Uh, so maybe you're having people that are sending direct emails to your email. And you don't want that to happen anymore. You want them to use contact forms and stuff. So here's what you do. You click on where the two line contains people. You click on contains people. You enter in your email. So there, any email that comes to you. And we'll talk about what you can do for this message later using the actions. You know. Well, I'll, I'll show you later. So, where the two line contains people. Okay. So, there. That, that's what you want to do for the conditions, unless you want to add some more stuff in there. Now, you got to choose your action, which is what I was trying to talk about before. Now, you choose your action for that message. So, would you want to delete it, copy it, or move it to a specific folder? Forward it to people? You can select multiple things. I tend to highlight it with the color and um, reply with message. And you're supposed to do reply with message if you want an auto reply. Or you can just use an auto deleter and have it get deleted. So you're going to want to highlight it with the color. Uh, let's see, red. And you'd select your message. Now, your message. It can be an email form, news form, htm, or text, txt. So you can reply with that message of your choice, and if you choose htm, then yes, you can use html format. <laughs> now, if you have companies sending messages to you, and you don't want to have an auto reply for them, you scroll up on the conditions, you check where the from line contains people, and you enter in the common email, you know, thing. So, Gmail, Hotmail, Live, MSN, Evo, AIM, AOL, Yahoo. You know, like all the common email clients. So it would block and auto reply a message to any of the people who have these mail clients. So that's, yeah, so that's how you do that. Now, instead of just deleting it, if you're going to delete it, you can actually have it deleted in permanent, permanently and not be kept in the trash can by selecting at the very bottom, delete it from server. And that permanently removes it from your mail client. But I don't know if you're going to want to read the message just in case. So then you click OK, and it will appear. You check it, and there you go. Now, I have this thing where it auto responds and um, to the, you know common mail clients and a message appears saying you know we're sorry we don't take direct emails anymore so on and so forth if you want more information on this then me send a message saying inform me about email so then I created another rule where the uh, body contains and you can find this you know you can find this under the conditions where the body contains inform me about emailing. It would then reply with a message informing them about emailing. So it's kind of like a um, auto replier itself because it auto replies with what they want to know. Uh, that may not have made any sense to you, but you know, whatever. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do is to go to tools, options. 
And you're probably going to want to start to check for every message every one minute. This is what I do, so it seems like it's not a person sending out these messages trying to make it seem like he's trying to sound professional. So I just check it to one minute, so it would be an average wait time of 0 to 60 seconds for the person to get the auto-replying message. So this is how you auto-reply with Outlook Express 2003, Outlook 2003, or Outlook 2002. Or Outlook Express 2002, if that exists. So uh, there.